We're standing in what was the gardens of the Palace of the Bishops of St David's. Howie Gateway Trust, over the past six years, has uh, taken it back to its the height of its, uh, um, its glory back in the 1830s, um, which was when it was last uh, restored. It was recognised that what was here was, was historically significant, and all of those those. Um, uh, but special and, 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 and significant features of the site were slowly um, being lost. And so um, what we've been doing here is really restoring the site, both for its heritage, its horticulture, but also for its, its wildlife and its uh, environmental value. Piers and his volunteers have transformed the park and gardens, so much so that it's actually difficult to remember what they used to look like. <laughs> Thanks to the hard work of our head gardener, Piers, and our dedicated volunteers, the gardens are looking at their absolute best today. So we've got huge aspirations for the wall garden here as well. It's going to be the next focus of our fundraising effort um, so that we can fully restore it, um, sort of, you know, partly back to its former glory, but also something that is really um, uh, current um, and something that can be a, a fantastic community asset. So Bishop, what do you make of your garden? It's absolutely fantastic. I've obviously been visiting regularly over the time that it's being developed, but to see it now at its opening, its formal opening, it's taken my breath away. Um, I've particularly uh, been overjoyed to visit the walled garden and to see the, the change from when I was last in there, when it was absolutely shambolic, and to see it transformed so, into yeah, I mean, a walled the garden. The obviously there are still parts of it uh, that are not yet up to being a garden but the, the change is, is amazing. So last year we had virtually nothing, the year before that we had quite a lot and we made loads of apple juice Yeah. Um, and this year it's looking like a good crop again. Yeah it's so. amazing. We are on sacred territory because this site has links to early Christian Wales and to Christian activity in this part of Wales, this region of Wales, going back to the Middle Ages and before. This is where uh, the great Bishop Richard Davis worked with William Salisbury on the first translation of the New Testament into Welsh and on the Book of Common Prayer, two of the gems of uh, Welsh literature, um, and as I was explaining, slightly overshadowed by William Morgan, who translated the entire Bible, but they'd done lots of the spade work before, and that was done here. It's all part of underlining how important our heritage is and that can be religious heritage, it can be social heritage, it can be to do with the environment as, as we can see in these wonderful gardens uh, in Abergwili. So there's a layer, different layers of heritage that we can talk about and that's what this is about. It's about celebrating that but also about actually giving a bit of a warning which is that if you take these things for granted and if you don't keep them protected and if you don't really nurture them they will disappear eventually and then they'll never come back although it's been six years <laughs> today is a launch which suggests there's and you've explained some of it there's a lot of work to be done i mean how far down the line are we do you think um we're, we're, we're through the first part, I think it, it's first, or well, nearly through the first part, I should say. We've just about com completed all the works on the, the first phase of the building work, and we've just about got where we wanted to be with the new garden areas. But it's, a, it's an ongoing um, uh, challenge. Yeah. It, it's wonderful and I do encourage anyone who's not, not visited uh, this project here in, in the old Bishop's Palace uh, to come and visit the garden uh, and to visit uh, the museum which again is now open of course. Do come because it's well worth it. Um, uh, come, come and see for yourself.